Once again, everyone, how are you all doing? We are the that was, Renegades, and uh, that was resonant. Ah, uh, well, this this room does carry sound really well, and I'm very happy about that. Yep. But uh, anyway, we are here. We are the Renegades, and today we're going to be looking at a little bit more JT Machinima. As you all well know, ERB is on break for the time being. I think they're taking this week off for the election because they made quite a statement in their last. Uh, uh yeah. That in their was, last ooh. one, which which, okay. Just get, so we're going to move on from that, and instead, now we're going to focus on a little bit of a game called uh, Titanfall 2. This is a rap by JT Machinima. Featuring I love how you assume, like, we're going to move on, the comments won't. No, they, they won't. Never move they'll, on. Keep, they'll keep going. They, they will always keep ever. going. But anyway, the Titanfall 2 rap by JT Machinima featuring Team Head Kick aligned with Giants. That team, is the... Team Head Kick. Is, is Wyndham going to try out for that? Because, I mean, she's already on Team Head Punch. So well, next, I don't know next how time. high she can kick. Well, we're going to find out soon. Yeah, she will be here. Team so, kick. Micah? She could do rocket boots and push you to the <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm working on that technology. Right. That, that'd be cool. Actually, guys, I've actually thought of a, of a neat... Okay, I might leave this in or I might cut it out. I don't know, depending on how long it takes to explain it. Um, okay, Micah, I have an idea for... Uh, I, I don't know what to call it, like Renegades Redneckery. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear! What I'm going, what I'm going to go ahead and distance myself. No, from no, no. This what, idea. what my idea is, what my idea is. My mom has all of these fans, like all of these, like, like, circu like all these fans in her basement. Well, she's got all these fans in the comments. No, no, dude, no. your mom's hot. Oh God, shut up. But anyway, High five, she yeah. has, she has all these fans Thanks, in her Micah. basement. You know, these, these industrial fans. All right. And she. No, I'm is, with you on this. And she. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with it. <coughs> I was thinking oh, no. I could buy them off of her. Oh, no. Are you gonna like and we could make a redneck a, a redneck hovercraft. Oh. I thought you were make a point of a skydiving thing to try and throw me in it. This is me getting thrown into a pile of fans. That would work, too. No, I'd die. Well, to be fair, of all of us, I mean, you'd just rise again three days later with the appropriate <laughs> application of caffeine. <laughs> I've eaten doctor enough and a little bit of coffee. Yep. Actually, that would be that. Would, I know what communion would be. It'd be, it'd be Eucharist wafers and coffee. Yeah. No, 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 no. Biscotti and coffee. Biscotti and coffee, yes. There, yes, I did better, it. Even better, even better. Yes. We've expanded the mythos. I may have actually typed into the comments, sweet coffee shop Jesus at one point. <laughs> so, you know, oh, you're welcome. Lord. Okay. But anyway, I shall not yeah, take your that's, name in that's my idea. That's my idea. You think it could be done? Let's go back three um, days later. Okay, so... Well, I mean, to be fair, there's only one of us that can really pilot the thing. Wyndham. Wyndham, yeah. I could see that. That'd be hilarious. I mean, to be fair, she's already got wind in her name. There you go. Also, ham. I don't know how that fits in, but we'll, we'll okay. figure it out. Well, actually, her, it's spelled mm. differently. It's W-Y-N-D. Eh, wind, ham, it's fine. I feel like, um, I feel like she needs like, a little rescue to get up with like, real pilot caps and stuff from Psychonauts. I can already make that happen. <laughs> Dude, it's in the trunk right now. Okay, so anyway, Done. back to the reaction at hand. Do the, we have to? I was having fun with this. No, no I'm kidding. No, Let's no, go. No. It's, it's, okay. <clears throat> so Titanfall 2 rap, JT Machinima, Team Head Kick. Have either of y'all played uh, Titanfall? I haven't. I've seen a fair bit of it. It looks like my jam. It. I And from what I hear, well, okay, I played t a little bit of Titanfall 1. Damn, it was, it was fun. It, it was pretty fun. It was limited with some things. But from what I'm hearing about Titanfall 2... It's expanded on in every way, all the better. And well, okay, wait, Micah, how much do you know about Titanfall? Uh, flightless Gundams. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it, flightless yeah. Gundams. Yeah. It's like flightless <clears throat> Gundams, but your Gundam is like you and like your Gundam and like a buddy cop or something. Pretty kind of. Well, well yeah. kind of, yeah, to some degree. Up. Yeah. Yeah, you can have it like support you, or you can jump in it, or you can steal other people's Gundams, and Wings yeah. This is true. He's got well, a point. Actually, actually, if the zero system is active, can it uh, can it fly? Or actually, no. It's if it's a mobile doll. It's not a mobile doll. Yeah, I, think it, I think they have some protocols where they can autopilot to a certain extent, but yeah, but not but not like full autonomy, like like or not full like fighting capability like <clears> mobile <throat> dolls. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Well. All right. So you're you're up to speed. Yeah. So we're good. So okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you keep up to date on, you know, Skyrim, Skyrim. and yeah. Fallout. Yeah, and Fallout. Anything Bethesda-related, almost. I mean, yeah, eh. it's just that's the time of the season of gaming, I think. 
Well, there you go. Okay. Well, there All you right. go. So, Dude, the Titanfall 2 rep, uh, which we have uh, set up here. Uh, what do you say we watch it and see what JT has to say this Let's time? Let's just get right in there. Let's get in. Penguin Gundams. Penguin Gundams. Put your helmet on, rookie! Uh. That's good. Oh, yeah. The uh, 360 projection. The Okay. That's pretty sweet. Now, okay, for the last few years, the first-person shooter uh, game style or games have been dominated by two companies. Mm-hmm. 
it has been dominated by Activision mm -hmm. with Call of Duty. Yup. And EA with Battlefield. Yep. Now, within uh, within uh, each of these uh, conglomerates, the the game designing companies, uh, the ones who primarily handle Battlefield are Dice, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the one and the ones who originally handled uh, Call of Duty were Infinity Ward. Yep. And then Treyarch came in, and then Sledgehammer Games came in. So now. Call of Duty's on a three, uh, three team, uh, a, a three year rotation, which is so, which a is better, weird choice, which is better, but at the same time, I don't think, I, I think they should fo focus on creating different IPs and making their their own yeah. IPs as strong as ever instead of doing yearly releases. But this is me. This is I mean honestly, but who f who hasn't played that fiddle before, and who and who hasn't been listening, the the, the game developers. Yep. But anyway. Um, here recently, a lot of the people that were let go from Infinity Ward after the whole controversy happened there, mm -hmm. there was a whole huge controversy, and a lot of people were laid off from Infinity Ward, and they restructured the company, and a lot of those people who got laid off formed Respawn Entertainment. And Respawn Entertainment... Hey, they came back. And that's re well, that's yeah. the joke. Well, Respawn Entertainment, they're throwing their hat into the whole fold with Titanfall. Now, they had Titanfall 1, which was a pretty good success. Yeah. And now Titanfall 2's out. And now, here, here, I've read the reviews already for Infinite Warfare, for Battlefield 1, and for, and for um, Titanfall, 2. Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 has the highest rating. Yeah, I can believe it. And it looks super good. Yeah, and it's, it's different enough from the other two to where you're like, all right, so I can either go... Same game every year. I can go, let's take the game where we've been trying to go same game every year and go back to basics. Or we can go giant fucking robots. I'm going giant freaking robots. Because, uh, honestly, honestly, okay, I played Battlefield 1. Mm -hmm. I played Battlefield 1. It is tremendous. It is really good. The story they tell, everything is just so well put together. I'm very happy with it. Infinite Warfare, from what I hear... The story mode <laughs> is pretty good. They did a lot of really good work with the story mode, hmm. but outside of that, the multiplayer is not as good. Huh. And Battlefield Which is sort of interesting for a Call of Duty because oh hey, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect a whole lot of story out of Call of Duty. Yeah, I well I hadn't expected a good story out of Call of Duty since I finished the Modern Warfare series, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is years ago. Modern Warfare 3 is when I really last paid attention to like the story mode. And then I, I stopped pretty much after that. But then I picked up Battlefield One, and I realized, oh, they're tra they're telling a more realistic story here. I'm liking this. And from what I've seen from Infinite Warfare, it actually tells a pretty good intergalactic war storyline. Which okay, you have them both going in different directions. You have one going back in time, and one the other going, going forward. forward. And honestly, they're both trying. They're both. Tr I think. I think. I think Call of Duty's trying a little too hard, whereas Battlefield realizes we have to go back. We have to go back to the basics of war. Marty! We have to go back, Marty! I, I knew it's it was your coming. game series, Marty! Yeah, there you go. Well, because... I did it. Because here's the thing. Call of Duty, when it first started, was pretty much World War II. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And then everyone started doing World War II. Medal of Honor, Battlefield, blah, blah, yep. blah. All this and all. Actually, I think Battlefield came first. I'm not really sure. Battlefield. Well, there there were a lot of games doing World War II. Yeah, That's a lot of games doing World War II. And then eventually they got uh, everyone was starting getting tired of World War II. And then they realized, oh, they're oh, we can go modern with this. Mm -hmm. And they did. And because I mean, I've I've heard some I heard somebody say this. There's only so many times you can play the Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, there's only so many times you can invade the beaches of Normandy. Yeah, there's only so many times you can do D-Day. You know, there's. Yeah. There's only so many times the Russians can take Berlin. There's only so many yeah. times the French can resist. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. it, it, there's only so many times you can fly in the skies over Britain and, and shoot down and shoot down uh, Nazi warplanes. No. I mean, it, it got tired real quick. <clears throat> but then, all of a sudden, uh, Battlefield 1 was announced, and people were like, oh, wow, they're going back to World War One." Which, if, first, okay... If you don't know a whole lot about your hi about history, yeah, World War One was just effed. 
Well, it was like, the it first. Was, it was the first truly global war. It was the first truly global war that encompassed more than half of the planet. I mean, trench warfare. Oh, it was uh, nasty. Gas attacks. Uh, it's it is nasty business. Well, yeah, truly it, nasty business. Yeah, and the, it was the first truly industrial war. You know, people can say, "Oh, the <clears throat> Civil War." The Civil War. You know, we had a few things: the Gatling gun and all this and all that. We had a few train lines here and there. And, and I mean, you had some factories producing arms. Yeah, but but you know, once you get to World War One, where tanks oh, come into play. Oh, oh boy. Where mustard gas and chemical warfare uh -huh. truly, tr truly, uh, oh, truly first start yeah. donning its head, I mean it gets nasty real quick because you see, because World War Two <clears throat> was it technology had advanced forward enough to where they could do stuff like that, they or where they could move faster over over yeah. over land masses. Trench warfare was nasty. It oh, was a geez. full war of attrition. Yeah, full war of attrition. The whole way through the west on the western front and the eastern front. Uh, it's interesting the the mix of tactics because you actually still had cavalry in World War. II. It's yeah, true. It's true. Yeah, that's oh yeah, that's actually shown in in Battlefield One. Yeah. I remember seeing that. Uh, they actually have uh, and the multiplayer in Battlefield One is a whole hell of a lot better than Infinite Warfare because there's so many different game types. There's so many different options to play as. Like you can play as like you can spawn in a plane. Fly around and start gunning people down, and then that person you kill can spawn in in another plane, and you all can engage in a dog fight. Yep, which is awesome. I love how they vary it up like that. There's nothing like that in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is just run around, jump over stuff, shoot, slide, maybe hop off a wall, <clears throat> maybe you know three sixty no scope a guy. Uh, if yeah, if, yeah. if 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 someone can stand still long enough for you to do that. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Anyway, Titanfall two. Um. I'm probably gonna give this. I'm probably gonna give that a shot. I'm probably gonna get it. Uh, yeah. On, uh, on PC, and I'm I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see how how much of an improvement it is over over one because from what I hear, it's a massive improvement in a lot of ways. Which is interesting because from what I saw of Titanfall, it looked pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Same I mean, here. now you know, granted, it wasn't it wasn't a huge departure from say Call of Duty. I mean, a lot of the gameplay mechanics were pretty sound, but then you throw in robots and you throw in all of the different movement that you can do yeah and also now remind me wasn't titanfall also one of the ones that had um like it was really six on six yeah similar to um overwatch but you had drones that were you had you had going ai control ai yeah, yeah, controlled yeah. uh uh drones yeah it was it was it was that was pretty cool too, where you could just go through like kill ten drones in a row, and then you run into a human player, and you're like, oh, yeah, and it almost like a sub boss. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, you're essentially playing a sub boss. Yeah, which which is kind of neat. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I like that too. And Titanfall too. Okay, another thing, another gripe that people had about the first Titanfall was a lack of a true campaign. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. It was. They were they had little bits of story here and there, but it, yeah, you had to dig for it. That's my thing. That's why I I'm terrible at first person shooters. So it's like online play with other people doesn't interest me at all. That's fair. There you go. If you want me to play a game, it's got to have like a pretty immersive single player thing, and I'm just not going to do that. Yeah, it has you to and have I need a good play Dark Souls. Good so. I actually have been told by several other people that I like stuff like. That. I I think you would enjoy it. I, I think, think you, you really would too. Would. I think um, I think he would as well. And I mean, I I would of course recommend you know unplugging the internet from that one. Just just be yeah, on the play safe offline side. because people can yeah. come in and ruin your day. Yeah, if you're yeah, but wait, so people can like they exist in the same world. Yeah. Well, okay, so okay. the the Go idea ahead. with Dark Souls is that all of these different worlds and timelines are sort of wibbly. Okay, so. Heroes from the past, heroes from the future, they're all sort of like phasing in and out of your world. So you get really you get really neat characters that you can pull in, or you also get. So, i.e., those are other players online. Well, no, there's there's NPC ones, okay. and then there's also uh, situations where you can summon player help. Okay. Yeah, but if you can summon player help, other people can come in and invade you and just kill you for sport. Yeah, that's yeah. That, so you know, you'll be walking along. Game just notoriously difficult, and then yeah, you die pretty much. 
So you'll get, you know, you'll be you'll, you'll be walking save. along and then you get XXX69 Sephiroth 69 XXX has invaded and you're just like, "Oh, you son of a bitch." <laughs> so it's not like it's not like when you're trolling like it originally says they have invaded. Yes. And you have to like stop them. Yeah. yeah. And you can fight them and win. But there's also the situation of, oh, hey, I was right at the boss, and now you're here to fuck me over. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that, that, that happened to me in Bloodborne. That's super easy. Yeah, it's, it's, easy. it's mean. Um, that being said, if, if we could work it out to where, you know, like, you could summon me or something, we could team up and take the game. Yeah, there you go. That is, that, yeah. Yeah, which, which actually that may be a possibility because if we get you going on, on that screen up there and then we get, like, that screen... Like, put over there on the desk. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then have cameras set up for both of you. Yeah, we'll rock and roll. Y'all y'all tear through the son of a gun. Yeah. I mean, I'd, <laughs> I'd go magic support on you. Yeah, and, Mi- and Micah would go, like, full like full nightly ninja. Yeah, I'd get behind like, that. Light ar- like, light armor with the katana. Just, yep. like, just, like, ripping through dudes. And then it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. So, this was awesome. The Titanfall 2 rap by JT really Machinima good. and Team Head Kick. Align, aligned with giants. This was really good. I love I love the gameplay footage that they use. I also love the I also love how they show the difference of the variances of the attack and also I like how the lyrics tied in with how you play the game and everything. I'm not going to lie, I'm fully expecting at some point to just get a trailer that's done by these guys. Like I don't the official doubt it. trailer is done by these guys. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to have see an advertising company have f- put faith in JT Machinima to do that. Just like yeah. what, what happened with Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth when they made those uh, trailers for uh, for Madden. W- oh yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Those are hilarious. They were really good. You remember yeah. that one where they it was like every player was Dallas Clark, and yep. it's just like it's yep. just like it's like oh gosh, who threw the ball? Dallas Clark. Well, who's catching the ball? Dallas Clark. Oh gosh. Oh, he's on. He's oh gosh. Who made that tackle? What? Dallas Clark. Yep, yep, yep. It was good. It was really good. I loved it. You're just sitting here going, "What the? Oh no!" Uh, and then all of a sudden, you hear you hear Jeff and Gus and Bernie laughing. It's like, "Oh gosh, they're dicking her. They're drunk again, aren't they?" <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> this is Rooster Teeth we're talking uh, about again. More like still. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, thank you all very much for tuning into this. Check out JT Machinima. The uh, description or in the description, you'll find a link to the original video. Also, uh, don't forget to check out our various other endeavors, including our Patreon and our PO box, for you all to send us some interesting stuff if you wish. Uh, we will be doing unboxings of that whenever we uh, get enough from the PO should, box. Should be soon. Should I think. Should be soon. I think as well. Yes. So uh, make sure. Uh, we've had stuff's people on the, tell us stuff's directly on the way. that stuff's on the way. So, so we can look- as as they say, it's in the mail. Yeah. So thank you all once again for tuning in and signing off for the Renegades. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. And we will see you all later. Take care.